Ini ya. <laughs> All right, man. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you guys are doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. All right, uh, today's episode is I am going to start dismantling this bad boy here. Plan of attack will be remove the intake manifold, cylinder head, disconnect the cooling lines, you have seen uh, in the beginning, I already drained the oil and also the water coolant. It should not take me too long to remove this thing. And what's good thing about it also, we get to dissect the G23. I think what's good about it, now that I'm thinking about boosting this motor is the clutch. It finally broke in. Let me show you the mileage. I think I logged in about a thousand or less than a thousand miles. Oh, right there. Uh, it's 800. Yeah, 823. Yeah, I thought it was a thousand, but uh, yeah, I haven't reset that ever since. So, which is a good thing. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do, if everything is playing correct, like the uh, piston to wall clearance and everything remember i told you about uh about this piston which is the material was 2618 and it expands more than the ford's material i bet you this one will expand less than the oe yeah so the settings for my uh, rings will be right about before maximum oe setup we will see once i got this thing open yeah it's too uh, premature to uh to say it right away and i'm going to wait till uh this thing is open all right enough talking and let's do some working For some that wanted to know about that baffle that I was talking about, right here. If you don't have this, this catch can will fill up with oil quick in no time. So this is very effective. You must do this.
I'm ready to remove this head. I thought I got all the uh, coolant. I guess not. That's okay. I'm gonna remove the piston anyway. If you're ever doing something like re-ring your pistons or replacing the pistons for like set up for turbocharge, make sure to clean those carbon deposit, that one. Because if you have a heavy concentration, that can break your ring grooves when you remove the piston. And if your intention is reusing that piston, yeah, possibility of breaking your piston when you remove that. Just use a scotch bright. That should do it. I have to blow some air through those, clean it off. Spray some WD-40 on it so it won't corrode. This is number one. Right. I'll do my analysis later. I'm gonna pull everything out. Got some wear on the side skirts. The valve's not hitting the piston, or the piston's not hitting the valve. I have the pistons turned the other way around 180 degrees this one the galling compounds all gone that's number one number two number three this motor went on a three dyno session yeah some brutal session This is number four. One thing I noticed about the bearings, on the number four, it has this uh, sharp, I can feel it with my fingers. Let me see if the, yeah, it's like something got on it or something. I'm gonna polish the crankshaft on the number four before I put this on. I'm still going to use the same bearings. Yeah, the bearings are all okay, except for the number four, the one that I found. Something like embedded on there or something right there. Number three. Yeah, no abnormal wear on it one thing i noticed though when i remove when i uh loosen the bolts number two and three yeah it looks like it didn't hold the torque or something it's not loose but it's not as tight as the number one and four maybe the bolts are all stretched out or something 
Remember the cylinder head that I got from the junkyard with a skunk to titanium retainers? That's what I'm gonna use. Cylinder head is good. I probably could still use this thing. Yeah. Spray some copper on it or something. But uh, maybe on the next build or something. This is just a quick check. Our allowable limits are 2,000. If 2,000 goes through, then it's no good. There you go. This procedure is per service manual, Honda, diagonal on both sides, from stud to stud, and longitudinal. All right, it's good. Right on. Here's my uh, cylinder head uh, plug. No problem there. All right, the cylinder head is good. You can see that shiny part right at the midsection on all of them. That's where the stress from the skirt. Imagine if I have the pistons uh, turn opposite the intakes is facing the intake valves. I think it could have been worse. Let's check the other side. Yeah, the other side. Yeah, it has some. You could still see the cross hatching and all that. I'll decide later on if I wanted to uh, make a pass of a honing tool or something. Get rid of that shiny part before I put the other one. But first I have to check the clearance on the piston. Piston to wall clearance before I do that. Alright, this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Next episode. <laughs> We're getting there guys. We are getting there.